John, athletic skill may be God-given, but work ethic has to come from within. How important were your mom and dad in terms of role models and providing you the example that you lead in the NHL today? You know, you learn a lot from your parents, your siblings, uh, people closest to you and the impact they make, especially when you're young. You know, not really knowing my parents' kind of story, as obviously you're kind of growing up, but uh, just seeing their work ethic and their commitment to us as a family. My dad getting up at five, six in the morning to go to work and not coming back till six in the evening, working a very uh, labor intensive job. Be able to provide for the family and, and let us uh, fulfill our dreams uh, and, and chase what we love to do. And then my mom raising us three, helping on uh, the business side of my dad's work, taking me to the rinks, uh, my sisters to a lot of their functions and juggling so much on their plate and just that, that effort and that commitment they, uh, they made to us. And as you get older, you realize all the sacrifices they made for you and how hard they work to just provide and, and give, uh, give a better life, a better opportunity for myself and my sister. So you wanted to uh, take advantage of that and, and realize uh, when you get these opportunities, you don't take them for granted and you give it everything you have. Backyard rinks are Canadiana. You grew up in Sam Gagne's backyard and that tremendous backyard rink. And in talking with Rick Vive, he said they might have been some of the most competitive shinny games ever played. Uh, what do you recall from those days? I just remember it being uh, some of the most fun I think I've ever had. Not just playing hockey, but just mm -hmm. in my life in general. The anticipation of the drive there from my parents' house, it was five minutes, but it always felt like 30 because yeah. I just couldn't wait to get there. And we'd be out there for, for hours and hours playing, practicing, competing. I always say it's kind of the, you know, the game at kind of its purest form. We were just out there just being kids and, and playing and doing something we love to do. It, it, it meant the world to me and it, it made a huge impact on I think my career and, and just me as a person. Just fell in love with the game with that much more and to be around the, the friends and people that I was around uh, uh, couldn't have been more special. Well, here we are one hour into the free agent period and it looks like we might be just about to get the biggest announcement we've seen maybe in a decade in the free agent period. John Tavares is a Toronto Maple Leaf and uh, wow. You know, I really looked at uh, my decision and what I wanted to do with my career with kind of all the facts in front of me. What's going on? Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Been here, right up. From the teams that I looked at and, and were, i have been playing for a long time and, and seeing what the potential was for me personally and how I could, I could fit in, then also the potential of the team and the success we could have. Kyle and Babs and Shani really, I think, did a tremendous job in showing me what the vision was here and really getting me to believe why this was going to be the best fit for me. And then you know, some of the emotions with obviously the connection of being from Toronto, uh, being from the area and the history of the hockey team and, and why it's a special place to play. I knew there was still a great opportunity in Long Island, so it was really going to take something really special to kind of get me out of where I was because uh, how much I invested there and, and uh, the potential there in the future, uh, but certainly uh, the fit here, uh, something I couldn't say no to. Finally, an opportunity to come back uh, March 2nd, a game against Buffalo after an emotionally charged night on Long Island. What did it mean to get the ovation you did from the fans at Scotiabank Arena on that particular night? It was kind of overwhelming, uh, and I mean that in a good way. Uh, you know, to stand there uh, as a Maple Leaf, as a kid from the area, to, to think I was going to have a moment like that, you know, I, I definitely wouldn't have believed you. So. To get a, a standing ovation and to hear them chant my name uh, uh, gave me goosebumps and, and was a moment I wanted to kind of take in, uh, take in that positivity and just uh, just that appreciation uh, that I got from the fan base and just tried to go out there every night and play and reward them with competing as hard as I can and playing, uh, playing at a high level and, and helping contribute to this team. Something I'll never forget, it was a very special moment and I think it it's a great example of why Toronto is uh, uh, such a special place to play and what uh, being a Maple Leaf really means to this, uh, this community and, and to this city and I'm forever grateful for that. So I'm uh, glad I was able to go out and play pretty well and I think our team played well and we got a good result that night. It was definitely, uh, uh, like I said, a game and a moment I'll never forget. We have a great opportunity here, not just in a short term, but uh, really for 
the long term uh, for us to be a, a very competitive team, a team that wants to play for the Stanley Cup year in and year out. And uh, that's what I wanted and believed uh, that the role I could have here could have a, a big impact. I really made it feel, especially with where I'm at in my career, there was, there was the right fit. It was an opportunity I couldn't pass up on and just made a, uh, so much sense. In front for Tavares! 